Let's follow the theme from my last video and put two scroll boxes in one video. Let's get started. Hello guys. So you heard me right in the intro. We are going to do two scroll boxes in one video. Now, I've got to be honest, I did not keep the packaging of the March box after I unboxed it and I did try and film the openings of both the April and the March box but all of my footage corrupted. So this is take two of trying to do this video. So since I don't have the packaging for the March box I'm just going to put everything that I got on screen and then go through it with the help of the menu card that I always get. So let's just put everything on the screen right now. The one thing that I'm missing from this box is the sticker. It's in my sticker box at the moment. That's the only thing that I've not got on screen right now as well as the sweet because I always eat the sweet before unboxing the entire box. So first of all I am actually going to get out the artwork. I kept the artwork and it's by the artist Saku Ems. I don't even need to turn it around. I know this artist's work just by her use of colour and the way she draws. I know this artist. And if you want to go follow her, there should be all of her links and social media. For some reason, this camera is having a hell of a time trying to focus. That's just, that's just peachy. Mm. We also have some line work of this piece. However, because of the paper texture, I don't actually think the pencils will work very well on this paper, especially for blending. So if I was actually going to colour this piece, I would have to print it onto another piece of paper that could actually take pencils better than this. So for March's box, the main ticket item on the menu is the Stedler Super Soft Coloured Pencils. They come in varieties of colours. I think this is the 12 pack, if I'm not mistaken. And apparently they work good on white and black paper. So I can't really test out the black paper theory, but we're gonna be using them on white paper and we've got enough with the fact that we have a sketchbook. The next item on this menu card is actually these two pencils. These are the Burnisher and Blender pencils from Derwent. I actually already previously owned these. I think they were kind of like a stocking filler I got at Christmas from my mom one time. So I know how those work. I love the Blender pencil. Not too sure about the burnisher to be honest but since they come as a set of two that's understandable why the, the burnisher would be there as well so after the blender and the burnisher on the menu we have the mobius i don't know how to pronounce it and rupert double hole sharpener this should come in handy especially with the bigger and the smaller tipped pencils after that we have the koinor Progresso white pencil. This is a very heavy pencil and it's also a woodless pencil. Next we have the Pilot V-Ball in 0.7. It's just a regular black ink ball type pen, which is good. I like those type of pens anyway. I use them to write a lot. Then we have the WIPO, I, I think that's how you say it. Uh, the Jumbo Graphite Pencil. I definitely wouldn't use this for detailing. And last but not least, on the March scroller box menu, we have the West Design Sketchbook. Now, if you guys have seen my last video, which is the sketchbook tour, where I did two sketchbooks in one video, of which this video is definitely following the theme of, I actually use a blue West Design sketchbook. So I have actually had previous experience in a West Design sketchbook. So I'm actually really, really happy that I got one and I've never actually had the metallic cover one, so it's all the more magical to me. 
And fun fact, I'm already halfway through my current sketchbook, so this will definitely become my next sketchbook. So the theme for the March scroller box is Enchantress. This camera hates to focus very close up detailing, so I'm sorry about that. So in the April scroll box, I actually kept everything in the box so that way I wouldn't get muddled up between the March and the April stuff. So let's open it, even though I've already opened it, so that's why there's no tissue paper or anything. Um, obviously, we have the sticker and I really like the gradient. I think that that's really cool. It's pastel, it's, it's so pretty, I love it. So before we get into the menu card, we actually have this print and it says, if you're not learning every day, then you're not living every day. And I really love the calligraphy and I think it's so, so pretty. Just looking at this, I know for a fact that I'm not gonna be able to get those bright colors with these since these are pastel tones and these are bright colors so it's it's a little bit odd on scroller boxes part or maybe the fact that i've just got the pastel set i don't know did anybody get the bright set or did everybody get the pastel set i'm not entirely sure but my menu card likes to depict them as the pastel set i'm gonna say that i got the right one it's just that the artwork doesn't correspond well with the colors that I got, which is a little bit of a disappointment. It's not a huge deal, but it's just a little nitpick I have and it's something that I feel does matter. Personally, I think Scroller Watch should actually take notice of what the featured artists actually use for their supplies so that way they can actually correspond the artwork with what's in the box a lot better. Obviously they knew that it was going to be done with watertight brush pens which that's great but the colours don't match and that's the big kicker for me personally. So obviously as I said the big ticket item is the Echo Line pastel brush pen set. I have actually received an Echoline pen from Scrawler Box before. So let's open this up and show you guys what these pens are like. So just right off the bat, I actually really like the fact that they're pastels. I know I nitpicked about the artwork colours and this colour, but like just based on their own, just ignoring the artwork for a second, the colours they're really, really pretty. Maybe not the grey, but the rest of them, ooh, they're nice. I kind of would have liked maybe a yellow or an orange as like one of the pastel colours to replace the grey, but I'm okay with that. I feel like the grey really dulls down the set a bit. Maybe that's just my opinion. So the next two items are together and these are the Unipin fine liners. I love Unipin fine liners. I don't know if people are aware, but uh, they are some of my favorite fine liners. I find that they're a lot cheaper than microns. Something I find important to note, for me personally, Unipin fine liners are actually way more accessible in the UK to me than microns are. So that's why I love Unipin fine liners a little bit more than microns. So we have light grey in 0.5 and we have dark grey in 0.1. I think I already have the light grey. I don't know if I actually have the dark grey and if I do, whether I have it in a 0.1, but I will use these regardless of whether I already have some or not. The last two items in the April box is the Viking Element 1 Graphite Writing Pencil and it's a HB pencil. Last but not least, in the art supplies section of the video, we have the Faber-Castell Kneadable Eraser. This is the white one. I've always had the grey ones in a little tub instead of like this white one. And the theme for this month's box is words of wisdom. I think when I originally saw some posts 
on Instagram about the April scrawler box. I thought it said worlds of wisdom and I got really excited because I was thinking, oh, I could do something with my character universe, but it says words of wisdom and it would make sense with the picture that I received. So before I show you the speed paint of the final picture, I'm actually gonna show you some of the development sketches. So this is my current sketchbook that I'm working in. Now it's not the correct sketchbook that the sketches are supposed to be in and I started and then realised, wait, I'm using the wrong sketchbook and there's only these two pages so I just thought I would show you guys. Now we go into the sketches that I have and I had so many different ideas, I thought of relating it to Mermaid as well but I just thought that that was too many ideas in one thing and then we have some characters that I was playing around with at the time and I thought I could relate them to it and I was also writing little quotes around here so did anyone ever tell you not to talk to strangers? I suppose that would be a good words of wisdom sort of thing. Time will tell, time heals a lot of things. So I started off with writing across the top, play with fire and you'll get burned. And I kind of thought about that in the way of my different OC kingdoms. So I kind of thought about Pyra and Pele and Pele, the idea of doing her and her hair is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Doing a piece of artwork with so much contrast, but I knew the colour scheme, especially with the April pastel colours, wasn't going to be an option. So I'm definitely going to be saving this idea for another day. Obviously this was going into the whole idea of mermaid and I thought that, that could work because of the pastel colour palette. And then this little doodle down here is of my character Vanessa. Obviously it's a very rough doodle, but it gave me the idea to explore a little bit of some Verona lore. Now Verona is my crystal kingdom in my character universe. And then we have the sketch that goes towards my final piece. Let's tilt it up so you can actually see it properly. Now let's get into the speed paint and let's see how this will turn out with the supplies that I got from Scrollerbox for two months. So how I use these markers is I actually scribbled it onto my glass plate and use them a little bit like watercolours. This is because the marker was actually causing the paper to pill in a really weird way and also I wanted a lighter shade of that colour to create some depth and contrast. I knew it was going to be a lot of layering going into it so I just took my time and luckily my friend Bryony was there to talk to me for most of the time I was doing this piece. So right off the bat, I knew I was going to use all of the colours in the brush pens because I wanted a good colour scheme. Now for those people who know me very well and know that I love a purple to yellow kind of colour scheme with like a pink undertone, yeah, I've used that colour scheme a lot and I love it to bits. It's probably one of my favourite ones but this time around I really wanted to flip it on its head and I used the blue and the pink and tried to blend them together while using the purple as an undertone just to bring the two colours together. I get a lot of comments about my use of colour being really good and I had those comments in university as well so I really hope that I still have it in me because I've been having anxieties about just everything about my artwork lately so I just hope it's turned out good. <laughs> I know I might get a little bit of hate for this but I actually in the end decided to use some white gouache over the top because I didn't leave any of the white of the paper because I didn't know where I wanted my highlights to be originally so I added white gouache on top of it and I know it wasn't in the scroller box but I really feel like it added something in the end. In my opinion the highlight just brought out the crystals a lot more and just made more of a contrast which is what I wanted originally and it's nice to know that my gouache actually works over these pencils. So Loka and Verona lore, let's get into that mess. 
So in this part of the story, Vanessa, the character in this piece, goes to Loka, the kingdom of time, to find her love in her letters, which is Nicholas. Now I don't want to spoil too much, but about the crystals, the crystals I call time ice. At the moment the name is still pending, but it's this special kind of crystal that freezes time and it can only be found on Loka. And it might be a little bit hard to see, but Vanessa is actually crying. This is because this crystal that she is trying to heal, since she has healing powers, is damaged. This type of crystal doesn't damage easily, or at all really, and she knows that something traumatic has happened to this crystal. Now the thing that happens that is traumatic is a huge plot point in the story, so I'm not going to spoil it. I do have plans for this story. Uh, how long it will take, I don't know, because there's so many different routes it could go down in terms of format that I could do it in. But yeah, that's the whole reason why I wanted to make it a different colour scheme, so it would be a special kind of crystal. And the text at the end, to kind of go with the words of wisdom theme, is only time can mend this damage. So with the video wrapping up, I would love to say a huge thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, you can click like and subscribe if you haven't already with those post notifications on for notifications for every time I upload and live stream. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.